Hello everyone. This is the fourth part of our lecture series on the historical antecedents of science and technology. In the previous lecture, we learned that the technological history of the Middle Ages was rather slow, but still with substantial development. In the succeeding period, the tempo of change increased significantly and was associated with profound social, political, religious, and intellectual upheavals in Western Europe, where we can trace back the beginning of modern science. In this lecture, we shall learn about the development of science and technology in the modern era. The modern era includes the early modern period around 1500s until present. This photo is of Johannes Gutenberg, one of the key players in the development of science and technology in the early modern period. Later in this lesson, we shall know why he played a significant role. There are three important points during the early modern period, and these are the Renaissance, the Scientific Revolution, and the Age of Enlightenment. The Renaissance is a period in the history of Europe following the medieval period, beginning in about 1300s to 1600s. Renaissance is a French word meaning rebirth, and during this time, the investigation of the natural world was revitalized. The beginning of the Renaissance was marked with the rediscovery and collection of lost or obscure texts. So initially, there were no significant development in science and technology. More people also favored human-centered subjects like politics and history over scientific studies. That is why some historians believe that scientific progress was rather slow during the Renaissance. However, more recently, Scholars have acknowledged the positive influence of the Renaissance on science as well as other fields such as mathematics. And there were also great technological advances in engineering, manufacturing, and mining. Most importantly, the invention of printing by Johannes Gutenberg democratized learning and allowed a faster propagation of new ideas. This photo shows a recreation of the Gutenberg printing press. You may also watch videos online showing how this printing equipment is manipulated. This is a portrait of Nicholas Copernicus and he was often recognized as the one who sparked the scientific revolution. The scientific revolution was the emergence of modern science during the early modern period when developments in mathematics, physics, astronomy, biology, and chemistry transformed societal views about nature. The scientific revolution began in Europe toward the end of the, of the Renaissance period and it continued through the late 18th century, influencing the intellectual and social movement known as the Enlightenment. Although the exact date when the scientific revolution began is still widely debated, most historians believe that the publication in 1543 of Nicholas Copernicus, De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium, or On the Revolutions of the Heavenly Spheres, marked the beginning of the scientific revolution. We shall discuss the scientific revolution in more details in the next lesson. The Age of Enlightenment was the intellectual movement that developed mainly in France, Britain, and Germany, where freedom, democracy, and reason were considered the primary values of society, and science played a leading role in Enlightenment discourse and thought. Many Enlightenment writers and thinkers had associated scientific advancement with the overthrow of religion and traditional authority in favor of the development of free speech and thought. Enlightenment science also greatly valued empiricism, which believes that knowledge comes only or primarily from sensory experience. Science during the Enlightenment was dominated by scientific societies and academies, which were considered the center of scientific research and development. Another important development was the popularization of science among an increasingly literate population. 
However, it is important to note that even during this era, women were still excluded from scientific societies and learned professions. Only women who were from the elite society were educated through self-study, tutors, and by the teachings of more open-minded fathers. Some males also ridiculed scientifically-minded women, describing them as neglectful of their domestic role. But despite these limitations, there was support for women in the sciences among some other men, and many of them made valuable contributions to science during the 18th century. This photo shows James Watt's steam engine, which was instrumental in the development of science and technology in the mid-modern period. The mid-modern period consists of the Industrial Revolution, the Progressive Era, and the Machine Age. The Industrial Revolution in the 1700s began when the first viable steam engine was introduced by Thomas Newcomen at Dudley Castle Coal Mine in 1712. In 1765, James Watt greatly improved the Newcomen engine and this invention was crucial to the industrialization of modern civilization and for almost 200 years, it was the most outstanding source of power for industry and transport systems in the West. It has been said that the Industrial Revolution was the most profound revolution in human history because of its sweeping impact on people's daily lives. During the Industrial Revolution, the pace of change appeared to speed up. This acceleration in the processes of technical innovation brought about an array of new tools and machines. It also involved more subtle practical improvements in various fields affecting labor, production, and resource use. However, the Industrial Revolution had detrimental impact to the environment, and it also led to an unprecedented rise in the rate of population growth. The Progressive Era was a period of widespread social activism and political reform across the United States that spanned from the 1890s to the 1920s. The main objectives of the Progressive Movement were eliminating problems caused by industrialization, urbanization, immigration, and corruption in government. The Progressive Era saw inventions such as automobiles, airplanes, telephone, and radio that required mass production and brought people together. This picture shows the first successful airplane developed by brothers Wilbur and Orville Wright. Machine Age is an era that includes the late 19th century until the early 20th century. It forms a late part of the Second Industrial Revolution. The mid-modern period is marked by the phenomenal process in the transfer of human labor to, use, to the use of machines. And later in this period, simple gadgets and machines were then replaced by improved ones that significantly increased production. Shown in this slide are metalworking machineries and locomotives which were built during the machine age. Now let's look into science and technology during the contemporary period and the concepts that developed during this time. In the 20th century, science advanced dramatically and there were new and radical developments in the natural, physical, and even social sciences. For example, in physics, post-Newtonian theories were developed such as the special relativity and general rel relativity theories as well as the quantum mechanics theories, which led to the development of nuclear weapons. In chemistry, new models of the structure of atom were developed, which led to the developments of theories of chemistry and the making of new materials such as nylon and plastics. 
Advances in biology also led to large increases in food production as well as cure for several diseases. Technologies which were invented in the late 19th century were perfected and universally deployed in the 20th century. The development of the television and computers also caused massive changes in the dissemination of information during this period. There is also a period in the 20th century known as the Atomic Age, when the first nuclear weapon was detonated, which eventually ended World War II. According to historians, the Atomic Age was a time of tremendous change in the social and political landscape. Obviously, because powerful countries continued to develop nuclear weapons and these superpowers threatened to use these weapons of tremendous destruction as they competed with one another in order to achieve supremacy of their own political and economic systems. During this era, people were so concerned about dying in a nuclear war that they seriously researched about bomb shelters. Nonetheless, the Atomic Age was also a time of great social change and scientific advances. It brought many changes in medicine that helped people live longer lives. One of the greatest victories was the development of the poliomyelitis vaccine or polio vaccine. Another significant phase in the 20th century is known as the Space Age, which encompasses activities related to space technology and space exploration. It started with the Soviet Union's launch of Sputnik 1, which was the world's first artificial satellite. Since then, rapid advances were made in rocketry, material science, and other related areas. The Space Age reached its peak with the Apollo program that captured the imagination of the public. The landing of Apollo 11 was watched by over 500 million people around the world, and it was widely recognized as one of the defining moments of the 20th century. But since then, public attention has largely moved to other areas. And of course, part of the contemporary period is the information age, which is also known as the computer age, digital age, or new media age. It actually began in the mid-20th century, and its beginning is often associated with the development of the transistor technology, which is one of the building blocks of modern electronics. The information age is coupled with the advent of personal computers, the internet, the world wide web, and the digitization of information and many more. And now, we are in the so-called experience age, where technology allows us to engage with the world in more tactile, engaging, and sociable ways. And technology becomes a portal to create memorable and meaningful experiences. Now watch this short video clip of a heart-wrenching reunion between a mother and her deceased daughter. As the experience age dawns, people are becoming increasingly interested in seeking out meaningful interactions rather than passively consuming information. We are using technology as a bridge to new connections, challenges, destinations, and encounters. And the experience age offers us the most promising opportunity to design our lives and the world we live in in more exciting and memorable ways. The perfect example for this is the recent conversion of Facebook to Meta, which focuses on building up the so-called Metaverse, which is a future version of the internet that will let people interact with others in 3D virtual worlds. Now, there seems to be no stopping humans in terms of scientific and technological development, and we can only wait and see how new discoveries unfold in the coming years.